Hello everybody, welcome back to part two. So listen, I got so into building, I was missed and stopped watching my video to see where I was. So I'm not sure where we ended. But I will tell you, I think my Baby Yoda looks a little bit more like a Funko Pop than the real Baby Yoda. But I still love where this little guy is. Um, well, my video, my first video was saving. I went ahead and I was using my toothpick to add some more detail, spread some more stuff out, make it look a little bit more Yoda-ish. Still like his nose, worked on his nose. I have an idea to add down here to the bottom. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it, but I'm gonna try. So let me try this first while I'm working. Um, here we go. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to put my initials on it. So people, if you have not put your initials on it, you have got to do this to save me. Save Mrs. Kleiner from the chaos. And make sure initials and whatever grade you're in, so whoever chooses to make this project, you have to do this. Okay, so here's Yoda so far. My idea came in, so I'm going to push his nose up. Um, if I'm making the child, if that's the thing... The child has a little necklace, like a neck piece on him, where his little robe is that he hit that he wears. Sorry, bending this around. So here we go. I'm coming back to my slab, which happened to be just laying here still. With this slab, I'm gonna roll it out. I'm gonna flip it over. And what I'm trying to do is I want to make a rectangle out of this to bring and wrap around the bottom. It's going to wrap around the bottom of this to be the little outfit that he wears. And I want to go all the way around my pinch pot to be consistent. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to lay it on here so I have it extra long and I'll trim down where needed. Again, we're using what we've already made to try and be consistent with the other parts by tracing. Okay. Find my best looking side. This is not my best looking side. So because it's not the best, I'm going to score it. Check out me. Both pieces at one time. Okay. Now, I can comb here on the sides of it. I'm not too concerned what the back of this looks like because most, most planters, we have a little plant that goes into it. You just kind of look at the front anyways. Okay. Adding my water to this. If at any point in time you're like, Mrs. Kleinard, I'm just, it's just not working. I don't like this. <laughs> First off, breathe. Take a couple minutes just to breathe. Okay. After you've taken a couple breathing minutes, then look at it again. And if you just hate it, um, start over. Take the time to ball it up into a ball, restart your pinch pot, build your little pieces while you're waiting on your pinch pot. Start over, it's no big deal. If you're super frustrated with it, put it away. Stop, put it away and make it to where you're not and just come back to it another day. You're not in the classroom, which is obviously we're frustrated about, but it's one of the bonuses. You don't have to finish this right away. It'll be okay. It'll be wonderful to return. There we go. I've wet both of them. So I'm going to add this and this because this is a front piece and I want this to look good. I'm going to make sure that I center this little thing right here. I'm going to do it in the center of my pinch pot so it's got the right spot and look to it. Okay. Now this part is going on. Let's 
going around. And like I said, I made it too big on purpose. So this is going to slice off where it comes together. All right, I'm slicing off where it comes together. And then att attaching them together. This is behind the ear so people won't even see it. There we go. He's getting there. I kind of like the eye, the, the thought of a pupil. I don't have a good picture to look at, and I should probably do this while I'm looking at a picture. So I might come back after this video is done and fix it. All right. It's okay. I'll probably fix that. <laughs> Uh, all right, let me add some water to where I've scored on here. I'm going to add some water to where I've scored the ears. I'm going to set it down. I'm going to push against the ear. Push it into the head. Fun. Okay. Same thing, process. Get some water. already scored over here so I'm just adding the water pressing into the side loving every minute <laughs> hey these ears are pretty good now if I want it to dry wiggly like the ears like that I need to do it like this I want to have a bend to his ears it has to bend now because you can't bend it later. So I'm actually putting a bend into this. There he is, Baby Yoda. So again, this is one of those things where it's like this whole time that I've been working, I've got a little picture pulled up that's giving me a rough idea of what I want him to look like. I'm enjoying it. So now I'm done. Baby Yoda is gonna, that's the bottom. The bottom looks rough, but nobody knows, nobody cares. Now, one last thing to finish it off, finish off. This is a succulent planter. They don't need any openings in the bottom and you would put pebbles, but I'm gonna put with my toothpick, I'm gonna poke just about four holes for drainage. <laughs> Try not to poke my finger as it goes through, <laughs> I'm jumping. There, just a few drainage holes. Cute, 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 cute. All right, baby Yoda, you've been fabulous. You've been fun. You may take your nap now, now that your power has been used. Middle school, enjoy this. Think about it through. What are the parts that you need for it? How can you build different things and then attach it on? Feel free to thin down. Feel free to beautify. Um... Make two, make three if you want to. This one right here is the one that I had added texture to last time because it looks like a tree bark. So I would say this would be more if I wanted to stay in the whole animated character superhero universe. This would be Groot. A couple of the Groot ones I saw, they had spikes coming out of the top of them. It was a very... Sharp edge design for their groups, like tree bark. So you can even cut a design here and pinch it and add some more character into it like that. Um, a lot of people have that on the top of theirs. If your person is wearing a birthday crown or if they have spiked hair, you can add spiked hair this way. Um, hair is a little bit difficult because the plant should be the hair. So that's the thought process behind this, that the spikes from the plant sticking up would become the hair. If you're not going to use this as a planter, you might use it for something else, like a little bowl to hold something, then I wouldn't be too worried. You could add some hair. So thanks for joining me. I hope you've had a lot of fun. If you're frustrated, like I said, stop, put it away. I hope you've had a lot of fun with your building. I'm super excited to see all your pictures and all your creations. Bye, guys. Love you. Miss you.